G'day, I'm David G, Sheshnag Yoga Center. What on earth is Kundalini? This video is similar to the one that I did on obedience. It's to do with my own growth in the last year or two. I believe, you know, that I believe, or it depends how many videos you watch, but I'll let you know what I believe. I reckon there's a spiritual world that governs the physical. I'm a believer that it starts in the subtle, comes through the physical, and the physical's the last expression of it. So I reckon there's a dream time, whatever they talk about, that spiritual realm where the gurus can go when they suspend their respiration and they go into the subtle dimension of the spirit. I'm a firm believer that that exists i reckon it might be tied into the dream plane the dream realm where you go when you dream but there's some people that can consciously participate there i reckon it's like a template for your human life for your physical life in that You've got your higher and lower self, or your soul and your body, whatever you want to call it. I call it the higher self, lower self. The lower self's full of vibrations, full of programs, um, expresses itself. A lot of the time it's unaware of what it's doing. This is only my opinion, of course. The higher self, when I sleep, goes off and coordinates my future experiences. That's a big ask, isn't it? Or it's a bit it's a bit weird, it's a bit out there. I'm happy with it that. It explains what's going on. It explains how I can think something and then it happens. Also there's a concept of magnetism that I'm this magnet and I resonate at a certain frequency and then all these experiences happen around me because of the frequency that I'm expressing at that point in time. In the last year I've experienced, I've been divorced twice in the past, man. I've had heaps of pain. In the last year, I've been reamed out psychologically and emotionally from an identity perspective. I thank the person in my life profusely for participating in it because her stuff matched my stuff perfectly to trigger most of my shadows. I'm trying to get a grip on it, trying to work towards healing myself and becoming a better person, more emotionally expressive, more emotionally stable. In that, I just bow down to the accepting my life and my creation wasn't necessarily conscious, but some of it was. And that's what keeps me in the situation and in the relationship. I know that I asked for it. I know that I put four words, uh, words on that board over there in my office. And the opportunity came into my life for me to deal with the four words that I wrote up there. Sensitivity, feelings, divinity, and deep mind. Plus I wanted the most awesome vegetarian cook on the planet. And to be fed, to be watered, and I actually did ask for that. So those things happen, but next time maybe I'll just write one thing on the list and deal with one lesson at a time. But for four real heavy lessons, man, it's like fitting all of university into like one semester. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's common on the planet at the moment. There's actually people, a lot of people going through their shadow work trying to clear some stuff. I don't know what's in store for humanity in the future. All I know is that it's been a traumatic period for a lot of people on the planet, me included. But nevertheless, I'm one of those people that have this insight and this intuition endless desire to understand myself I keep going into uncomfortable experiences trying to come out a better person more understanding of myself in this case it's been uncomfortable but I'm still here because I accept it and in that acceptance gives me peace and also the opportunity to grow through the pains 
which I've tried to do, while also being true to myself and still being relative to my constitution. There you go. Acceptance of my own creation. Some of it conscious, most of it unconscious. But at least I'm aware of a little part of the conscious part. Share the world, Sheshnag.com. What on earth is Kundalini? Peace.